John, in the previous video, we kind of talked about importance of creating content, having the LinkedIn profile up there. So what tips do you have for job seekers in, in, order, in terms of using LinkedIn to their fullest so that they can use it when they're searching for their job? Yeah, there's, there's uh, about three things that are really critical in a LinkedIn profile. Um, and I'm a product manager and product managers uh, know that there's a concept of above the fold and below the fold. And so when you're looking at LinkedIn, there's things that are above on the top of the page where I don't have to scroll and things on the bottom of the page where I have to scroll to get to. Okay. So LinkedIn or Amazon or any app company is going to prioritize the most important things, the most clicked things, the most important things that recruiters or what have you want to see on your profile mm -hmm. towards the top of the page. Yeah. Things that are less important are going to be on the bottom of the page, right? Orientation matters a lot. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking at a LinkedIn profile, what's on the top picture banner banner, headline yes. about yeah. everything else doesn't really matter. For sure. Right. Um, and so what you want to do is you want to focus on job title needs to be in the headline. If I'm aspiring to something, then industry needs to be there. Mm. Here's an example, project management. If you're aspiring to it, you could say as a student aspiring project manager, or you could say project management right? It's a way that somebody can search you. No, ideally you want a title, right? Senior project manager would be a great place to start because you never want someone to come onto your profile and go, who is this person? Right. And, and what, what ends up happening is they, they, they get in that school mentality of I'm a master of nothing. Um, I'm well-rounded and um, I do design and I do project and I do business and, and analysis. And they go, and recruiters thinking, these are like totally different verticals. Yeah. Help me understand who you are. Who you are yeah. um, so picture that's industry appropriate. Mm -hmm. If you're in tech, hoodie is fine, right? <laughs> like, um, but like a nice picture, you smiling, like eyes, eyes on the camera. I wish I could look at the camera, but it's up here. <laughs> um, things like that are really important. Banner. Super important. Yes. Um, you can go on canva.com. It's $12 yeah. a month. You can get a 30 day free trial. They have banner templates. Yes. With really cool graphics. Yeah. And the, the best thing to do is not overwhelm people with the banner. What are the three key takeaways for you? Mm -hmm. Those are words in your headline. What are the three key takeaways for you in your banner? Three big words, three, you know, small phrases. Yeah. Um, and, um, and some pictures of your personality. Mm -hmm. um, are really important. Yeah, those are great. Do you think that the banner should be changed often or should be the same all the time? I think people, it's a great question. I think people need to constantly experiment and learn with their LinkedIn profile. It's not a set in stone thing. Mm -hmm. in, a, in a couple months, we're all, you know, in a couple months, we may say, you know, I'm feeling this way. Yeah. And I felt that way, be, I felt a different way before. Great. I'm constantly tweaking, constantly changing my about section, right? To reflect how my mind is shifting and changing. Yeah, those are great tips. Thank you, John. Again, for the audience watching, listening, if you have any other tips in terms of LinkedIn, please leave comments below and tune in next time for another great question with John.